Whew. What up, fellas? Ben Lego here. Ah, oh, wait a sec. So you read the title? Ah, uh, so the, this video is obviously not monetized. I just wanted to say something about it. Ah. Uh, uh. First of all, my condolences to the family of Avicii. Like, I, I, I was, I was sorry, and we all love him. He, he, he was the best. So Avicii died at the age of 28, he died in Oman and uh, basically the cause is unknown, his management his management just came out with a statement that he, he just died and I think for the personal and private reasons they just want to keep it like uh, private, they just don't want to talk about it and uh, we just have to respect it. So just, just let it be like that. <sighs> Guys, in this video I would like to talk a little bit about why Avicii was like so important for me and uh, why he was for me like a role model and he was really like an idol for me uh, this, this is like the hardest video that I have ever made so basically uh, Avicii was also like one of the reasons like why I created my first YouTube channel and I know that a lot of you don't know this about me but uh, before I started this YouTube channel I had another one it was called Poly Hearts. You can search it on YouTube, it's still over there. And basically what you don't know about me is that I was like for eight, nine years playing guitar. I was for like eight years playing drums. For two years I was playing piano. And uh, basically I was thinking about creating some music and I was producing some music. I was mostly producing progressive house, also different styles of house, Melbourne, big room. I was also producing a little bit of like dubstep, melodic dubstep. And obviously when you are creating some music, you have some artists that you are looking up to. And the biggest artist that I was looking up to was Avicii. Like I have listened to all Avicii songs, like fr from the beginning till the end. I listened to all of them. Of course, I picked my favorites one. But the thing is that I just really love the message that he was sending. I really love uh, the type of wife. I really, I really love the type of vibe that his songs were sending, that they were basically, you know, just like giving this chilling, adventurous, loving kind of style and I really like it and whenever I fell down, I was just listening to Avicii wake me up, levels, lay, lay me down. Meanwhile, I was really like enjoying his, his music, like he was like my number one favorite artist. When I started making the music, producing music, obviously I was like searching for some tutorials because I didn't know how I didn't know how to create the music. So I was just, you know, checking some tutorials on YouTube. And uh, then I also found this video, it's called Avicii in the Studio, the making of Dancing in My Head, Future Music Magazine. Basically in this video, the video is long, like one hour or something. I don't remember exactly how long it is right now. And basically in this tutorial Avicii created literally like the whole song from the beginning till the end like from the beginning the transition then then the drop then another transition and then the, the final drop and then the outro and what you have to understand is that he didn't really have to do it and uh, he was basically sharing with uh, with his audience and with, with the public like his secrets like how he's making the songs, he was explaining, for example, what effects he is using, he was explaining that he is using a lot of reverb, EQ, he is cutting the basses on the, on the instruments that he doesn't really need the bass on, and he was also explaining how he is making drums, he, is, he was also explaining how he is making the lead synth, how he is layer, layering different sounds, so at the end he will achieve the perfect sounds that he was uh, desiring with all the frequencies, you know, not, not just like the high one, but all spectrum. So it's giving you all that feeling of fullness. He was also like explaining how to make the basic bass line and you know, the, the side chain, he was talking about compressors and you really have to understand that only with this video, if you saw this video, you were basically able to create some simple progressive house song and this was really the thing that before this video is like maybe like from 2011 2012 there were not so many like so good tutorials and at the time this video had like 200,000 views 100,000 views when I saw it 
but it really helped me. It really like moved my production to another level because I understood a lot of things that otherwise I would be just, you know, left in the darkness just to like somehow try to figure out by myself. But with this Avicii's tutorial, there was just like everything like from the beginning till the end. And it was just like, like I respect him so much. Also because of his music. I was listening to this, to his music all the time. Like also before this tutorial, but after this tutorial, where he was basically sharing his secrets, like my respect just like skyrocketed. And I was like, like this is the man. Like he didn't have to do it, you know. He did it like for the for his audience. He did it for the public. And uh, basically, even though he did this, he created more competition for him. You have to understand it. And he didn't really care about it because he just wanted to share the secrets. So at the end, we have nowadays much more like quality music. Also thanks to him, of course, there are millions of tutorials. But I can say from my personal experience. Even for my uh, productions, this uh, tutorial was really, really, really effective and it just like turned my productions into another level. When I saw the message, I I felt so bad. I, so, I felt so bad. All his songs are, are giving this vibe, you know, this emotional vibe that you, you just gotta love it. And he was always like my number one artist and he always will be. To my fans that are watching right now this video, I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing that uh, this video is not so entertaining. But I was just like feeling that I have to say something about this topic. I thought that uh, I just need to say like my opinion. I just need to put it out there. How much of a person he was for me, how much I respect him. His music will be here with us forever. He will be living forever. His music is a legacy and anybody can listen to it whenever online guys whenever you will feel depressed you will feel some uh, feelings of anxiety you will feel down you will feel that the world is against you just just talk with your parents talk with the people that really care about you talk with your best friends even try to write a message to me. I'm really busy, so I don't have so much time. So perhaps I will not see your message. Perhaps I, I will try. I will do, I, do do my best. But just talk with the with the people that really care about you. Talk with your close ones, and just don't stop until you will get your help. And that's the most important. See you in the next video.